welcome back to the channel. Today we got something really simple, really easy. We're gonna show you how to do this. It's very simple, but you guys know this channel. We're not just gonna show you how to do it, but we're gonna show you some little customizations that I found while experimenting with it in the editing software. Today we're going to recreate this effect from Oliver Francis Light Flex. Um, nothing too crazy, nothing too oversaturated in terms of effects. Um, it just happened there if you didn't see it. So it's this cool little jitter loop, as you guys can see. Here's another little cool example of it. Now, if you full screen on YouTube, you can actually click the little arrow keys on your keyboard, uh, the ones next to the question mark. And I'm just going to click and you can go frame by frame and you're going to see exactly what this is looking like broken down. So one frame, two frames, it's literally just going back and forth between two different frames. So there's a key to this. It's not as simple as just the application. We're going to hop into Adobe Premiere now. And of course, before we start the tutorial, if you enjoy the content, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Quick little update on what we've been working on. I'm working on this giant animation pack for you guys. We also have this Media Monopoly extension This is that this is going to be built into. It'll also be built into the Adobe Premiere motion graphics. So super easy to use super professional. We'll get into the ins and outs of this later I just figured I would show you a little update I worked on this all night So I'm off like one hour sleep right now if I look tired, but here they are some pretty cool animations Every single one of these is actually with a transparent background overlay this on top of any footage you have And there's some pretty cool creative stuff in here You can use this for dance videos music videos gaming videos, whatever you guys are working on So on to the effect like I said, it's not just the application There's some things you need to look for while you're editing to actually get the desired effect that you may want If you are looking for the same uh, video effect music video effect from that Oliver Francis video So here's some different examples. We have this is a music video. I worked on recently um, Future Joe Moses Metro Boomin Link to that down below if you're interested. Now this little red marker here, this is a bad example. This is what you don't want to be doing. We're going to talk about that as well. Let me show that for you. So we're going to select our timeline where we'd like to place this effect. We're going to click Control K just to make a cut. And now you're going to use your arrow keys on your keyboard just to move over one frame. Click Control K again to make a cut. Or you can use your little razor tool here, whatever you prefer. And we're going to do that one more time. So move over one more frame. Control K to make a cut. So we just made two little sub clips here. If that's too hard to see, just use control alt and then your mouse wheel or command alt. I think it is on Mac to zoom in on the timeline. If that's a little bit too hard to see, zoom in as far as possible. So you can see these two frames up close. You can also just take this video layer, drag it up if you have a hard time seeing it. So we have our two little sub clips here. What you want to do now is grab this end part, drag it out so you can get some gray area here, some blank space that we can work with. You're going to want to click and select these two little sub clips here. Hold down alt on your keyboard and while holding down alt on your keyboard you can just click and drag these out to duplicate that so we're literally just taking two little sub clips and dragging them out then you can also select the group hold alt now you have eight grab the eight and then repeat this for as long as you want this jitter effect to last once you've found the length for how long you want this effect to last you can then grab the end part of the footage connect it all together play that out and there you go, you have a nice little jitter. Now that is the application itself. You just cut two frames, duplicate them, loop them together. That's it. But the point is, it's not always going to look the way that you want it. The key that you want to look for, having a clip where there's not a lot of motion except for one thing in the actual video. So in this footage that I selected, you can see he's waving his arm down. But the clip itself, if we actually go back, the clip itself doesn't have too much motion. You'll see here, the camera's pretty locked into place, except for his arm. That's the main thing that's moving in the frame. So you want to look for a place in the footage where there's one main subject that's moving, like an arm. In the Oliver Tree video, there was money going across the car. It was him holding up the money to his ear. Let me show you a bad example on where you can do the exact same thing that I just showed you by just duplicating and just doing the same application, but it's not going to look the same. All right, so check this out. So I did the same application. I literally just cut two frames like this, duplicated them like I showed you earlier. I played it out and look how kind of oversaturated the jitteriness of it. If there's a lot of movement in the actual shot, it, maybe you shot it handheld or maybe there's just a lot of things moving at once, you may get something that's a little bit too oversaturated. It's a little bit too jittery. It's not in that sweet spot that you're looking for. What you want to look for is a relatively smooth shot that has one thing in the frame that's moving. Some of the shots in the Oliver Francis video were in slow motion. I think one was normal, one was slow motion. So let me show you the difference. Basically, slow motion it's just going to smooth the jittery out a little bit more this is 24 frames per second tiny bit more jittery I picked a good spot in this video so 
it's not as crazy as that bad example that i showed you now if we hide this layer this is the raw footage and i just pulled the actual 60 frames per second footage this is 24 this is 60 frames this is just a bit more smooth when it comes to the jitteriness it's not as crazy there's not so much things moving around in the background so i mentioned at the beginning of this i sat down with this experimented let me show you two little simple but interesting effects to bring this to the next level just add another um, element dimension onto this so i'm just going to start the effect from scratch in case you missed it the first time what you want to do is find the place in the video where you want to create the effect this is a shot where there's not a lot of movement except for his arm going up and down so it should work well click Control k to make a cut where you'd like to start the effect use your arrow keys move over once Control k to make a cut move over another time and then Control k, Control k or your razor tool to make another cut grab your end footage and just give yourself some room here and then it's very simple select your sub clips holding down alt drag those out select holding down alt and now we're making our looping jitter just like that that this reminded me of that muramasa 3d camera where it's kind of shifting perspective back and forth let me show you how we can build onto that look for this little jitter loop effect that we have going on so what you can do is you can actually select all these little sub clips here right click them and then just select nest that'll put them all into one clip so they're all going to be together now we can place effects on all of those little sub clips at once we're going to select our nested sequence here we're going to click our little effects um, tab here it may be here if you're working in the color workspace if you're in the fx workspace maybe on the right go ahead and search for the basic 3d effect and it's under the perspective folder click and drag that onto our nested sequence once you've done that go ahead and select it Go up to your effect controls in the top left here and you'll see your basic 3d go ahead and open that up so first things first if we change swivel you'll see that there's a lot of black space so we want to get rid of that now i found that a good sweet spot for this is using um, an angle of eight and negative eight now you're going to want to compensate for this black space here so we can grab our scale and actually just scale this up until we don't see it anymore like that now go back down to basic 3d go ahead and keyframe the swivel at your starting position here and we're gonna move a bit so let's maybe move it's depending on your clip how long the jitter is I'll just hold down shift and maybe move five frames so click hold shift arrow key once now we're gonna go ahead and set this to negative eight so we've made a keyframe animation and now we can hold down shift right arrow key once again let's make this eight hold down shift right arrow key again to make this negative eight so you're seeing we're making keyframes every time we do this and now we created an animation where if you look at the edges now the perspective is going to be swiveling back and forth so it kind of does make it look like that muramasa kind of different um, perspective which is pretty interesting on this clip it looks a little bit too artificial like i said every clip is going to be different i know that i tried it on this clip over here and i think i got a lot better result so what you can do is rewind the video, or if you already did it following along with me, grab your basic 3D, control C to copy, and then go to the new clip you wanna put it on, maybe experiment with something else, click in your effect controls, control V to paste. So now we have the perspective in here. And of course, um, you'll want to fix your scaling. So grab your scale, bump that up till there's no black edges, play that out. And there we go. I thought that looked a little bit more holographic, a little bit more like the um, Muramasa effect by doing that. Pretty interesting. So that's a whole nother dynamic you can add onto this effect. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I don't like making short videos for some reason. I always like going in depth. So sorry if that's too much. It's still pretty simple. The application is very easy, but that's a cool thing you can do as well. You'll see that as this clip plays along, there's like some simple little zooming in as it's moving forward. What we can do is hop back into Premiere, and there's a few ways you can do this. At your starting position, of course, what you can do is keyframe your position scale, move forward to the end, and then maybe just scale it up a bit. We'll kind of center it on his face. So now we've created an animation where it's just going to be scaling forward like that. Maybe you don't want the 3D, maybe you just want to have the jitter scaling forward. Of course, you can also do this with the transform effect 
which is in Adobe Premiere if you want that shutter for motion blur. And then I also made a full video in After Effects talking about After Effects cameras, what that can do for you in terms of changing your motion, your movement, and your video editing. Really great video if you haven't checked that out. Link will be down in the description. So those are some quick little easy tips. We showed you the jitter loop. Um, we talked about the best ways to actually pull it off to make it the same as that Oliver Francis video or to put your own spin on it. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'm going to run all the examples I did now just so you can see all the different um, animations and looks that you can get just by doing the same application I showed you. We just cut the two clips, loop them out. Pretty cool, pretty simple, um, and a really awesome looking effect. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see next from me. Maybe there's an effect from a video you've been wondering about how to do or you think looks cool. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting, and I'll see you guys in the next one.